Hi, my name is Jeff Thompson. I'm a demonstrator instructor here at the Edwards Demonstration and Learning Center in Central Illinois. Now one of the most valuable things that can be easily overlooked by an operator, especially with a new machine, is the importance of the safety walk around. So let's take a walk around the machine, look at those key points before we step foot in the cab and start our work. Our safety walk around begins even from a distance as we approach the machine. Uh, we're going to look at our respective machine and look at its overall integrity, see if anything pops out, catches our eye that would be out of the ordinary. Fluids on the ground, broken glass, uh, missing rails, things of that nature. As we get up to where I'm going to enter and exit the cab, I'm going to look at the overall integrity of the ROPS, the glass, the handrails, the door handle, and then make my way down as I, as I want to walk around the machine uh, where I'm going to start with the undercarriage. As I start with the undercarriage, I'm going to start from the top down. Track pads, track pins, carrier roller, making sure that's sealed and not losing any oil, making sure that's free of debris so it can roll freely. And as I work down, the rollers on the bottom are filled with oil. And then making our way back to the end at the final drive, checking out all those bolts. As we open the first compartment door, we're looking at our uh, dual engine air filters. We also have our batteries inside there, so we're checking cables, connections, cleanliness. We also have our master disconnect switch in this compartment, which we'll turn on before we get in the machine. As we open this compartment with our cooling package, of course we're looking for any obstructions in those fins, any fluid leaks. And then now's a good time to also look at the uh, side view camera. Wipe that off if it's full of debris. As you look up from the camera, this machine is fully integrated with 3D GPS, so we're checking out the overall integrity of the uh, masts, the globes, the connections, the bolts. As we approach the back of the machine, looking at the counterweight, make sure the bolts are in place, intact, not loose. Looking up to the rear-facing camera, wiping it clean, making sure there's no damage there. And even above that, our rear working light, making sure that it's intact. As we make our way down the counterweight, now's a good opportunity to look directly underneath the machine. You want to direct your attention to the swing housing and all the bolts around it, making sure there's no foreign debris and then making your way back to those plates on the final drives, covering the back of our final drives, making sure the bolts are in place, no fluid leaks. Now we've made our way to the other side of the machine. In this compartment here, we have our main hydraulic pump. We're looking for any signs of damage, checking all our hoses and connections, our fittings. Uh, here we have a number of filters, our main oil filter elements right there. Towards the back of the compartment, we have our primary and secondary fuel filters and also our fuel water separator, draining that appropriately if need be. We also have our quick evacuation lines for our fluids. And then next to that would be our counterweight removal for transportation. As we shut that back compartment and make our way towards the front of the machine, we have our hydraulic fill sight gauge. We want to make sure our stick and boom are positioned appropriately to get a good cold level reading, but that sight gauge is located right there. As we're here, we can also take a look at our other side view camera. As we make our way to the front of the machine, we will have access to our diesel exhaust fluid, and then just above that will be our fuel fill. As we make our way to the top of the machine, after we checked our fuel fill area, uh, we're going to open the engine compartment. Inside the engine compartment, you're going to have the uh, engine oil dipstick, our engine oil fill, and also our hydraulic fan motor. As we look down at the base of the boom, center of the machine, twin swing drive motors. They both have dipsticks to check the oil level in those appropriately. And then we can take our eyes up the back of the boom, checking all the hard lines, the fittings, the hoses, looking for any signs of leaks or damage. And then as we come back down the boom, you'll notice a hard bank of five grease certs for that upper linkage where we can hit and grease appropriately there. Once we've concluded our ground level linkage check, that concludes our high level walk around. We've been all the way around the machine, touching on all those key components that need to be addressed daily before we get to work. And with that, we're ready to get in the cab and get going.